I went to Maldives again and this time with my mother. Our parents often keep refusing to come along with us on our travels, citing various reasons, but I think most of the time what they are doing is considering a future. They don't want us to waste our hard-earned money on them. They would rather have us invest that money somewhere, buy a house or use it for traveling more often. This time I just decided to not hear any of these excuses and took her to Maldives. We were both a little skeptic of it and had so many thoughts. I was thinking like mom doesn't like water and I'm taking her to the Maldives. Would she be able to enjoy for 5 days? Would she like the outside food which is most likely going to be much blander compared to what we eat? And so on and so forth. But then I knew that to enjoy waters you don't have to get into them and the sheer view of the blue waters the wind and the vibes could be good enough to help you unwind and relax and tell you what she did enjoy this trip a lot in fact every bit of it here are a few suggestions if you are also planning to take your parents to maldives first take them to a nice place where you expect a good crowd they like seeing people around So don't take them to a very secluded island. Don't take rooms with swimming pool or over water villas and all that because it is your fantasy and imagination that they will enjoy it. However, I feel like they enjoy a happening and vibrant place more, watching people from around the world, their way of life and the cheerful vibes these people bring to the place. We stayed at two places. My mom enjoyed Mafusha Island very much as we were right at the beach and she could see people enjoying at the beach all day long. And the second place we stayed was Paradise Island Resort. The crowd here is really good and I knew this as I had been to this place earlier also and she was simply mesmerized by the beauty of the island. Second, try and tailor your plan to what they like and not what you like. For example, I know that my mom likes doing yoga in the morning, taking a walk two times a day, eating healthy food and so on. While I can't get up early in the morning, I am no longer in the mood for yoga as I did enough during the pandemic and so is the case with healthy food. But I decided to do what she likes. So we walked around the Mafushi Island at least three times a day and it was really fun as the weather was really windy and wasn't too sunny. We even tried doing yoga and I too enjoyed doing it by the beach. The sound of the waves and the smell just takes away all your stress. A full boat plan may be a good one for them because you can manage with half boat but they'll have certain dietary requirements for which I believe a three meal plan may be much better. It also creates a sense of something happening always, something to look forward to and keeps the excitement levels up and also offering that change which completes the overall experience. Fourth, assist them during meals. Many of the resorts offer a very big spread and cuisines from around the world. Not all would know what is what. Even we may not know, so we can't expect them to know it all. It may become really difficult for them to choose, especially if they only eat vegetarian food or vegan for that matter. So it might make sense for you to just help them a bit, show them around to explain them all the options and if required even bring a loaded plate to their table yourself. Do some activities that they might enjoy. We did kayaking which she felt comfortable doing. We did also participate in stingray feeding and shark feeding which was fun. You may choose from a wide range of other activities that your parents might enjoy. I think most of the resorts have got a wide range of options. Take their age into account. Not everything you enjoy can be enjoyed by them. For example, when Megha and I went to the local island, we enjoyed the public ferry experience and I thought even mom might like it. However, that was too much for my mom. It took too long and the ride was little bumpier due to bad weather. So she did feel a little uneasy and that made me realize that age needs a bit of consideration when planning a trip with your parents. 7th, choose a nearby resort. Don't let the travel be too hectic for them that they would find it difficult to enjoy after reaching to the resort island. So I would say choosing a nearby resort might be a good idea but there may be a different perspective to it so do share it in the comments and maybe it will help me as well as others that's all from me maybe some of you have done a lot of travel with your parents and can share some tips to help us all do share your comments 
ऑल्सो इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब तो मैं और मेरी मॉम माफूशी आईलैंड घूम रहे हैं से और हमने आईलैंड में दो बार मुझे ऑलरेडी राउंड लगा लिया है हरी हमारा तीसरा राउंड है और आज कुछ अनयूजली विंडी डे है इतनी ज़्यादा हवा है कि हमें चलने में भी दिक्कत हो रही है और सैंड पार्टिकल्स ऐसे लग रहे हैं स्किन पे मानो जैसे कोई सुई चुबा रहा हो आपको काफ़ी अच्छा दिन है मैं तो कहूँगा कि काफ़ी क्लाउड्स हैं और काफ़ी मज़ा आ रहा है हमें घूमने में विंडी होने से थोड़ी प्रॉब्लम तो हो रही है मेरी मॉम को लेकिन मुझे तो बहुत मज़ा आ रहा है मैं तो देख विंड चार्ट देख के आया हूँ कि कहाँ पे ज़्यादा विंड <laughs> मिलती रही है तो अभी हम लोग दूसरी साइड में जा रहे हैं मफूशी की होपफुली इस तरफ थोड़ी विंड कम होगी क्योंकि यूजली यहाँ पर बिल्कुल नहीं होती है तो आज अगर बहुत विंडी है तो यहाँ पर थोड़ा कम विंड मिलना चाहिए हमें लेट्स